What's going on insiders today? I wanna to talk to y'all about my three favorite lures for fishing coastal marshes. Um, so the big deal for me, if I'm gonna pick three lures to fish or picking three lures that I can fish um, very differently and in different parts of the water column. So uh, I've, I've got three laid out here. I'm gonna start on the surface and work my way down to the bottom. So the first one's obviously a topwater plug. When I like to work a topwater this time of year is usually earlier in the morning um, on a lower tide when the fish are more concentrated. Uh, that transitions in the summertime to fishing at higher tides and, and mid tides over oysters and stuff like that. But early in the spring, uh, fishing it when those fish are a little more congregated. What happens when the fish are congregated is they get a little more competitive um, and they're willing to be a little more aggressive when they eat. When you get these warming trends like we've got right now, it can be super effective. And I'd, I won't always catch the fish on the top water, but if I can move the fish, you know, in some deeper water and know that there's fish there, um, it's done its job for me for the most part. Um, catching the fish is obviously, you know, the end goal. But if I'm working through an area, trolling motoring through an area, throwing a topwater plug and I move some fish or I get a blow up and the fish misses it, I know, all right, slow down. The fish are here. Let's try something different. They might not be committing to the topwater right now, but they've shown me that they're in this area. So the next bait that I like to throw, uh, this would be mid water column, but also I can work it on, on the bottom, is the Texas Eye Jig 316th by uh, Eye Strike Fishing and the diesel minnow. I fish a lot of different colors. A lot of times I gravitate towards the red bone color, um, but, but color isn't as big of a deal as the way that this bait actually works in the water. So the reason I like the Texas eye uh, jig head is because I can swim it mid water column just like a normal jig head if I want to fish a little bit higher up for trout um, or maybe redfish that are, that are floating when they're happy. Um, but I can also fish it right down on the bottom. What's cool about the Texas eye when it's on the bottom is it, this, uh, this whole hook here articulates off the back of this head and so when I let it sit, it rests, and these Z-Man soft plastics with the Elastec will float. So that bait will stand up like this, and I can work it, and it'll land back down uh, and, and stick straight up like this. And just little jiggles will wiggle that tail, and so you can fish it really finessey, or you can speed it up and fish it fast. I do, um, throughout the whole summer, this is the exact rig that I'm throwing 99% of the time when I'm sight fishing or blind casting for redfish. Uh, one more cool thing about this bait is it's a paddle tail, and so it has a lot of presence in the water, and the, it pairs really nicely with the Texas eye, because um, when you're actually reeling it, this, this tail's paddling and the head wobbles, so the whole bait has this really natural wobble going on, and you can feel it in your rod tip if you've got a sensitive rod, and the fish can definitely feel it in the water. One more little inside tip that I love about this bait that I found out when I was doing some utter, underwater filming um, in a pool of this is with that articulation, there's a little gap between the hook and that D ring coming off the back of the head. And when you twitch it, you can hear it underwater. I was five feet away from this bait underwater in a pool. And when my buddy was, was twitching it as I was filming it, I could hear it clicking and it sounds just like a shrimp clicking. Uh, and when I've been out fishing, sight fishing for redfish, I've, I myself or clients have made a bad cast on the fish, you know, three, four feet away and twitched it and watched the redfish whip around and key right in on it and come over and eat it. So um, I really do uh, give that to the, the sound that it makes as you twitch it. So uh, it's a great bait. Next is when I'm really fishing the bottom is a, is a trout trick. The, the nice thing about the trout trick is there's just so much play and wiggle off of this, uh, off this bait. Sometimes I'll fish it on a shorter shank hook and I'll have even more play, but it doesn't seem to really hurt me too much in the warmer months and the winter is when I shorten that hook up so I can let that, that bait stand up like this and really wiggle. I like to fish this on the lightest possible jig head that I can where I can still feel the bottom and have contact with the bottom. Um, what that allows is for that bait, that Elastec uh, material from Z-Man to float up like this. Um, what, what's great about this bait is a trout will eat it off the bottom, a redfish will eat it off the bottom, and a flounder will eat it off the bottom. So they all eat this really well and it's just a great way to work the bottom real slow and finessey and just kind of wiggle that tail. I like something with a chartreuse tail a lot of times. Here in North Carolina and up and down the East Coast, um, from Georgia up, we deal with a lot of dirty water from the freshwater influence we have. Um, and just something, you know, a little bit of chartreuse that the fish can key on is very important. Um, the flake in here too, it's blue, but it's not too, too much compared to the purple body that it's got. And so it, it really has a real natural look underwater. Uh, but the trout trick is another great bait for, for fish in the bottom um, for, for redfish, trout, and flounder. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet a line today